Hi, I'm Liv Garfield, I'm Chief Executive of OpenReach, and I'm really sorry not to be there in person today at Wimersphere, but I was absolutely delighted to be given the chance to organise a video. Now, the brief said a couple of things. Number one, tell you a bit about myself, never quite as interesting when you're not in the room, but I'll try my best. And the second of all, was to give a sense of what I think the challenges are for female leaders in the future. So in terms of me, I'm 37, married, two children, boys, uh, both little, three and five, and we live in London. Uh, Career-wise, I've been at OpenReach for the last two years. Before that, I was in uh, the main BT for nine years, and before that, I was at Accenture for six years. And before that, I was at university at Cambridge doing modern languages. Now, the reason for sharing these things is just to give you a sense you know, all of us are going to work in a few organisations in our time. That's the reality of modern working life. There are a few people that are going to find the perfect organisation for themselves up front, but most of us are going to try a couple of different places and learn things from those different places. And I feel like I've tried three already. And when I look at those, they've all had some amazing, amazing things. When I was in Accenture, I got the chance to work with fantastically like-minded people, all starting out their careers, all kind of like burning the candle at both ends. And in that sense, I got the chance to really see what you can do. And I've never lost that sense of ambition of you can change anything you want to in a short space of time as possible, as long as you're all together on that journey. When I was in Main BT, I got the chance to see what real loyalty is like. I got the most amazing opportunity to run sales organizations, service organizations, strategy, regulation teams. And the thing that came out from all of them is that if you are a class act employer and you treat your people well for the long term, then people reward that loyalty time and time again. And being a class act employer is one of the things that all of us should make sure that we are really ensuring that our organisations do. We shouldn't ever stand on the side windows, be a bystander to not being an amazing people manager. We should make sure that our organisation is following and living those values that it, that it talks about the entire time. And since I've been in open reach, well, I guess partly you learn even more because you're, you know, suddenly you're in charge, so the culture is yours to some extent. And I've learned a lot about the shadow of the leader. Little things that I can do can have very big impressions for other people. So I've learned to curb against a random flippant comment that maybe can be taken the wrong way. Now, occasionally they sneak out, of course they do, right? But I try my hardest. I've also learned that if you can try and take the learnings from other places, it's that sense of scale and ambition that I had from Accenture, the sense of loyalty that I already knew was within BT and within OpenReach, and try and bring those together, then if you've got loyal people that really want to do a great job for their company, but they just need some meaning, and you can capture the imagination of that meaning, and in our world, that's been providing a digital future for the UK, a lasting legacy of fibre for the whole of the UK in the shortest possible time window, meaning that our country can be great when competing with other countries, then suddenly the world is genuinely your oyster. The reason we've been able to roll out fibre quicker than any other telco is simply down to the fact that we employ loyal, long-standing people who want to make this an amazing success. And that's exhilarating. And that's the last thing I guess I would say when I say what you need to be to be a female leader of the future. You've got to love your job. That comes across. So make sure that female, male, it's irrelevant. You've got to turn up to work, bounding in and loving your job because it inspires those around you. But it makes you make the right decisions for the long term because you're envisaging that you're going to be here for the long term. If you mildly hate your job, you're always thinking of a way out. That means you're much more likely to make short-termist decisions. So change if you don't love your job, but be in a job that you love. That's my first tip. The second is make sure that you're always thinking bold. It doesn't mean that you have, to, you have to constantly kind of commit to bold, but you have to be thinking bold at all times. And make sure that you're guiding the organisation towards the boldest possible opportunity. And the third thing is that make sure that in every interaction with people, you remember that person is turning up to do a great job. Someone once taught me a great concept of positive intent, that no one turns up to work to have a bad day, we all of us turn up to work to have great days. And if you constantly think that in every interaction with people, then you look again at the way they said that word, at the way they handled that in the meeting, at the way that they managed you maybe, and you think, well, assuming they came to work to do a great job, and maybe it didn't work in that situation, what was going on in their mind? And it allows you to look at it from different angles. So remember, positive intent yourself, and positive intent with everybody else that's working with you. And I think if you do that, it allows you to be a better line manager, but it also allows you to be better in meetings, because you're not looking for maybe the political angle or the side angle, you're viewing it, as positive intent. So I hope today goes well. I'm sure you'll get some fantastic speakers today. I saw the lineup and they looked amazing. So please enjoy it. And remember that this is your chance to mingle, to mix, but also to think. So give yourself some good reflection opportunities during the course of today. Enjoy and thank you very much for listening.